Hey everybody, I want you to see this. So I just did a balloon garland at the park outside and look at this. This is my metal balloon garland stand. I've used this sucker for quite a few outdoor events and look what happened. See this part right here? See that? Yeah, that was stuck solid, wielded solidly to this metal base and it came clean off. The wind blew, the backdrop stand, this pole fell and then it broke clean off. So it's official. I'm gonna be getting my pipe and drape as soon as possible. No more of these e favor mark stands. They have let me down. I mean, I know we're no match for mother nature, but this is ridiculous. So I'm doing this under the sea themed balloon garland for a first birthday party and it's outside at the park. I'm not the biggest fan of outside events, just like I know plenty of you aren't. And it's for this very reason right there. Okay, so the pole did not break off just yet. However, I realized this was not a good place to set up the balloon garland. The direction of the wind was pulling that um, banner backwards and so when I was connecting that banner to all of the sides it looked like a wind sail <laughs> the way that banner was getting pushed backwards and I felt like it was going to push the whole backdrop back and there was nothing to you know stop it from doing that so I decided to change the position of this backdrop now the clients wanted it in the original position that I put it, but they weren't there at the time. I was there early before everyone else. Now that's the client's spouse. Um, so they convinced me to bring the backdrop back over to the area that they originally wanted. We decided to put it underneath a tree, hoping that maybe the tree would block some of that wind, but it didn't work. And so I just wanna show you the pole again fell down and this is when it came clean off of the base i've had this backdrop for a year and a half and i bought two more like this and this has never happened before so this definitely took me by surprise the backdrop was damaged so i had to come up with some idea quick we tried to put it underneath this tree it didn't work so i decided to go ahead on and attach this banner um to this park sign right here so i attach half of the banner to the park sign and the other half to the good pole that was still usable and then i use some duct tape to tape this banner to both the park sign and the pole now right now the client's uh, spouse is panicking he's calling his wife who was the one who originally booked with me she's not there yet and uh, he's kind of speaking in his native language i don't know what's being said but um he's panicking of course i feel the panic inside but i'm not trying to show it okay and that's what you have to do when you're an event designer you have to learn how to work under pressure um to handle you know people and also to think fast to come up with alternatives when things go wrong because things almost always go wrong now i usually need about two hours time to set up especially for outdoor events i was only given an hour and a half and i arrived early before everyone else and look at what you know happened so now i'm working against the clock so i connected the balloon garland to that park pole by duct taping some 260 balloons onto the park pole and then I just wrapped the 260 balloons around the balloon garland and tied them into themselves. And then I um, tied the balloon garland to the other good working pole with a 260 balloon as well. And that is how I connected it. And that's how that balloon garland is staying on there. This is why it's important to have a well-constructed balloon garland where the base is nice and tight and secure because it'll be able to withstand the wind and withstand situations like this where there is not a top pole for this thing to be connected to. So as you saw, I added a couple more clusters of balloons to the balloon garland using a 260 balloon. 
and I wanted to make sure that that bottom part was nice and filled out and that it touched the ground and there was no gap right there. I also added some under the sea theme cutouts that I made with my Cricut machine using some glue dots and now I'm just adding accessories and things like that to the table. And I also sprayed the garland with some balloon shine to restore the shininess of the balloons. So here's the finished product to my under the sea themed struggle balloon garland setup. <laughs> but um, honestly, the client actually loved it when she arrived. And when I came to pick up all of my stuff later on that evening, she said she got tons of compliments for it. And she was very appreciative of the, you know, decorations. So I am happy that I got a satisfied client in the end. What this taught me is to be prepared through whatever. Perhaps I can bring an extra pole in case something like this happens. Um, as mentioned before, I am going to be investing in getting me a pipe and drape pole. This was a pole I got from eFavor Mart. Uh, it's done me well for many, many events, but I heard that the pipe and drape is more secure. So I'll be investing in that and I'll let you know how that goes. But for those of you that work in the balloon designing business or any event designing business for that matter, you know how it is, especially with these outdoor events. You never know what may happen. So you always got to be prepared, be able to work under pressure and be able to think fast. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.